And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome here as we get set for our eighth race of the debut season of the SRA Tax Slayer Truck Series. We are here at the Concrete Monster Mile, known as Dover International Raceway, in which we'll see if Miles is going to be kind to these drivers, or is he going to gobble them up? Now, at this point, coming into this race, we have run only a total of seven races, but we have had eight different race winners, and all eight of those different race winners come into this race inside the top 30 in the points. So theoretically, our eight slots in the chase for the championship for later on this season, they've already been claimed. However, those slots are not guaranteed. Any other race winners that we have here this season are going to be taking away a chase slot from another former winner this season. So it's going to get down really to the nitty gritty. And we haven't even reached the second half of the regular season. So it is going to be a tooth and nail fight for those eight spots in the chase for the championship. Julius Anderson, Marty Zakala, they're your front row. Those are two drivers that are yet to find victory lane here this season. And they've got good starting track position at a track that usually starting out in front means you're going to finish out in front. We'll have to see if that holds true in today's 40 lap event for the Autism Speaks 200 presented by Visa. We are going to be getting the command to fire them up in just a minute. As a matter of fact, why don't we go down trackside and get that command right now. Drivers, start your engines! There is the command to fire them up, and so we'll get ready to roll these 42 trucks off the grid and get ready to turn them loose in just a moment but for the moment we're going to give you your stages coming into today's race it's going to be 15 15 and 10 for our 40 lap event of course we just have the trucks and hershey's cup series drivers here this weekend at dover and your top 10 in points presented by golden corral are as follows ace garcia is still the points leader by 32 points over ryan brommer Marcus Saachi is now up to third, Carter Friesen in fourth, and Ricky Cervantes in fifth. Then it's Seth Cole in sixth, Patrick Smith in seventh, Joseph Srigley eighth, ninth is Joshua Hyatt, and Jack Legacy completes your top ten in the points stands. After his win a couple of weeks ago at Kins, the last time we saw the Tax Slayer Truck Series, Charles Jackson was the winner, and he jumped 23 spots in the points. He's up to 16th in the standings. We'll see how the four truck does following up that win a couple of weeks ago. But without further ado, it's time to go truck racing at the Monster Mile. Julius Anderson, Marty Zakala, a couple of rookies on the front row. Waiting on the flagman. The green flag is out. Let's roll. going to be the preferred line at least here on the first few laps of the start of this race but you may end up starting to see that outside line kick in as the tires begin to wear you see Shane Lake already trying to use that outside line there in third place Zach Rogers trying to take third from him and Lake's going to hang on to the spot at least for now use that high line for three and four as right now Julius Anderson out in front right behind him is Joseph Srigley then Shane Lake then Zach Rogers Tristan Allen was caught way up on the outside three wide but he was able to get the run off the corner using that top side to hang on to fifth place so we're starting to see these drivers realizing that top groove is there and they're utilizing it to their benefit battle now on for third Zach Rogers to the inside of Shane Lake look at Tristan Allen got a big run there and now he's going to try and take the fourth position if Lake can get around Rogers, Rogers hanging tough on the bottom, and now Tristan Allen's gonna go down there with him. Lake is gonna get into the throttle quicker there off turn four. He's gonna take and keep the third position. Now he's gonna cross over on Swrigley and try and take second place. This all going on right now behind the race leader, Julius Anderson. And Lake's gonna get a good run there off of two, but can he clear Swrigley into the three? No, he can't. Wrigley's going to have that high line to his benefit through three and four. He might be able to draw back even as the battle continues for the second position. Into turn one once again, still side by side between Lake and Wrigley. Lake will clear. Can he get up in front of the 90? Yes, he can. He will take second place. But here comes Tristan Allen now trying to take a spot. Look at Zach Rogers up the middle between Nick Johnson and Joseph Wrigley. He nearly physically moved the uh, 90 car up the track and Swrigley nearly with, 
met the uh, outside safer bear, but kept it all together. And now Lake moves into the second spot. Battle for third now between Strictly and Tristan Allen. And whoa, Zach Rogers! Big run into the corner. He tried driving it deep to go through the middle three wide with Allen and Strictly almost got into the right rear of his teammate in the 12. And now a couple of former winners have also made their way up towards the front. Jonathan Zorlin now in sixth, Nick Johnson in seventh. Zorlin won at Vegas, Johnson won at Talladega. Joshua Hyatt right there behind him as well. As a matter of fact, Joshua Hyatt uh, coming into this race ninth in points. He was up inside the top five in the standings when we went into Kansas a couple of weeks ago. Trying to bounce back. And then there's Paul Minnick back there in the now ninth position. The battle here on for second. Swrigley trying to get by Shane Lake. Lake's got thoughts for the lead. Can he get to the right rear quarter panel off? Oh, yes, he can. He doesn't lead that lap, but he'll have the outside advantage here. And it's side by side for the race lead between Anderson, Shane Lake, and Zach Rogers right up in this mix as well. Rogers might go three wide here into three. Oh boy, he tried it, but Julius Anderson threw the block on him. Shane Lake, though, on that top side, he swings around and he will take the top position here on lap number 10. Big time move there is now Zach Rogers trying to get by Julius Anderson. We're gonna go back to talking about Paul Minnick. There are three drivers of those previous eight winners so far this season that come into this race, 28th, 29th and 30th in points. You have to be in the top 30 in points for your win to count towards the spot in the chase of the championship. Those three drivers are Jonathan Zorlin, Paul Minnick, and our Daytona winner, Tony, Tony Green. Now we have Zorlin up here in sixth, Minnick up in ninth. Tony Green, though, is in danger of falling outside of the top 30 in the point standings, which means that if you have one win, if you have 10 wins this season, you're not in the top 30 in the point standings. That win, those wins are nullified. They don't count towards a spot in the chase for the championship. So Zorlin and Minnick definitely having good runs to try and get away from that cut line, but Tony Green don't know where he's at. He also needs a good run here to get away from 30th in the point stands, which is the position he comes into this race currently situated in. Joshua Hyatt has now moved up into the second position. That crispy cream Chevy Silverado trying to run down the HendrickCars.com Chevy Silverado as Julius Anderson was out in front for most of the end of this race, now finds himself back there battling for the third spot with Jonathan Zorlin. Lead change, Joshua Hyatt to the inside and clears out of two the Shane Lake Mobile. Joshua Hyatt to the top position. Of course, Joshua Hyatt with a win here today would definitely have a nice solidified spot in the top 10, the point standings as he came into this race ninth. Shane Lake, on the other hand, comes into this race in the 23rd position, so a win would put him into the top 20 in the points. One driver I've not seen up here towards the front yet, and that is Ace Garcia. I, are we in the caution? No, we're not in the caution. Okay, I couldn't tell if I saw a yellow light on the uh, side there by the safer barrier or if I saw a green light. Here's a couple of drivers running well in the points stands. That's third and fourth in points. Carter Freeze is fourth in the stands. Marcus Saachi third in the stands. And they're running very well right now. This is the battle actually for the ninth position between those two. Let's see where some of our other top guns in the points are. There's Ace Garcia just outside the top 10 around the 14th position. So the points leader having yet another very consistent run this week. There's Jessica Miles. Comes into this race a 12th in the point standings. She's running probably around the 18th position. Boy, they're racing really hard back here. Marcus, uh, make that Michael Whitman, Ryan Madden, Nicholas Rail, along with Jamie Johnson. You've got uh, Jake Moss, Caitlin Sang in this group. Boy, they are wadded up here, battling hard for positions. The driver I haven't seen yet is the team of Ryan Brommer. There's last time out's winner, Charles Jackson. There's Ryan Brommer, they're side by side. Jackson trying to fight his way up here towards the front, but he started close to the rear of the field. And this is not one of the easiest tracks to be able to pick up positions at. You gotta be slow and methodic. Talked about Tony Green. 30th in the point stands. Well, there he is, and he has scored 41st on the track right now. Dead last right behind him, Dylan Thoreau in the 17. So, not the run that Tony Green was looking for, for sure. And this may drop him outside the top 30 in the points. 
Started off the season with that win at Daytona. And about eight races later, well, seven races later, not exactly in the best position in the points day is to have that win count towards a chase spot. Still very early on in the season, a lot can happen. We haven't even head, entered into the second half of our regular season heading towards the chase, so still plenty of time for recovery. Battle is on for second place. Tristan Allen wants the spot. Shane Lake currently in possession of it. And the two of them trying to chase down Joshua Hyatt's 83. Tristan Allen trying to get the inside line going, but Shane Lake's been very good through three and four using the middle to higher groove. And he will at least for the moment still hang on to that runner-up spot. Jonathan Zorlin hanging there in fourth. Zach Rogers in a battle here with Julius Anderson to get fifth place, and it looks like he will get it. Zach Rogers was en route to a top 10 run last time out at Kansas and had some kind of mechanical problem. It seemed that he, he really slowed in the front straightaway. He got clobbered from behind by Seth Cole and finished very poorly in that race. So nice comeback for him here today at Dover. Anderson now slips back into the sixth position with Nick Johnson there in seventh. This is a battle for eighth. Wrigley in possession of that spot, but Marcus Saachi, Tyler Deaver, Jordan Lopez, and Carter Friesen all up trying to get there. As a matter of fact, right now, Tyler Deaver would be 10th, and now he loses 10th place to Jordan Lopez. The reason they're battling, of course, so hard back here is because we're in the top 10. By the time we get to the completion of our second stage at the end of lap 30, we get stage points. Saachi's been on a tear the last couple of weeks, really climbed up through the point stays now for the standings. Behind Ryan Brommer and the points leader Ace Garcia and looking again for another top 10 run here today at Dover. Meanwhile, Shane Lake and Tristan Allen, while they've had that battle going on between the two of them for second place, they are starting to slowly close up the gap between themselves and the race leader Joshua Hyatt as well. So. We could have three rookies battling here for the race win. We hit the stripe next time by. It's 15 laps to go, so this one ain't over yet. Justin Allen again going to try and get to the inside of Shane Lake. Looks like the inside line is a little bit better through one and two. The outside line better through three and four. So that's what makes these battles continue on for so many laps because the inside car gets the advantage through one and two, they draw even, and then the outside car is able to get the momentum through three and four and be able to swing around and keep the spot. Battle on for fourth. Zach Rogers continuing to fight his way towards the front, now trying to take off another driver in Jonathan Zorlin to move into the fourth position. Zorlin going to use the outside momentum out of four to hang on to the spot for the moment. Zach Rogers going to let him go, at least for now. Thought he might try sticking his nose back to the left the quarter panel there in turn one, but not yet. And Allen way low there down on the back straightaway as he continues to battle with Shane Lake for position. And they haven't lost touch with Joshua Hyatt, but they've lost a tiny little bit of ground. Now about seven tenths back. Joshua Hyatt, his best friend right now, is that start finish line. Every time he hits it, is one more lap he ticks away, and one more lap that those drivers behind him have uh, against them to be able to run him down. Coming into this race, Joshua Hyatt has four top ten finishes in seven starts, but has never finished so far this season in the top five. Right now, it looks like his first top five could very well be a trip to victory lane. Still, a little more than 10 laps to go. It'll be 10 to go when we hit the stripe this next time by. And Joshua Hyatt will also get 10 valuable stage points as he wins our second stage. We're now into our third and final stage of this race. Gap now a little over eight tenths of a second. He continues to increase his gap now every lap by just about a tenth. And of course, contributing to that is the fact that Shane Lake, Tristan Allen have been battling side by side 
with each other for that second position quite a number of laps. This time by, he gained another tenth, did Joshua. You got Joshua Hyatt all by himself. Then you got a battle for second between Blake and Allen, and then you got a battle for fourth between Zorlin and Rogers. There's, there's little battles going on all around the racetrack. There's also another battle going on for sixth between Nick Johnson and Julius Anderson. And then you get back here to this battle from the eighth position on back with Swrigley and Deaver and Friesen and Saatchi and Lopez in that, Jessica Miles, Mason Woody, Garcia, and it looks like Michael Whitman trying to catch up as well to this group. This is all for a battle. Eighth place on back. This time by, was there a gain or a decrease? It was a gain again by about six one hundredths. So Joshua Hyatt, now apparently, you know, a good reason could very well be Joshua Hyatt's been out there running laps. He's been able to be maybe a little bit conservative with the fact he hasn't had to battle with anybody. The fact that Tristan Allen and, and uh, Shane Lake have been battling each other and not necessarily each one getting the preferred line they want into the corner. They may have used up their stuff, preferably their Goodyear Eagles, to be able to have any type of grip, any type of speed to be able to run down the 83. 1.2 seconds and a little more than five laps to go. Unless fuel strategy comes into play here, which I don't think it's going to, Joshua Hyatt has got himself a pretty clean cut win here at Dover. Best battle still going on for that second position. Tristan Allen trying everything he can to try and at least get to the bumper of the 43. Last time by into turn one, he kind of drove it deep. He may have hurt his entry into the corner, but Shane Lake and Tristan Allen maybe have to realize, you know, we don't have the trucks to be able to run down the 83. Let's settle it amongst ourselves for that second position and see who's going to get nine stage points at the end of the third and final stage. Whatever the case for either one of them, whichever one finishes in second, whichever one finishes in third, is going to be their best finish of the season. Uh, Shane Lake coming into this race has one top five finish. Tristan Allen has one top five finish as well, but if my memory serves me correctly, neither one of them have finished on the podium this year. Sounds like traffic up ahead. Quite a ways ahead though. Jack Legacy, Easton Barber, Tony Green there. And they're almost a full straightaway ahead of Joshua Hyatt. So it doesn't look like traffic is going to be an issue in this race, but that is kind of interesting because uh, tomorrow's race for the Virgin's Cup Series is going to be 60 laps. So add on the 20 laps, and if we end up having uh, like a race leader get out to an, a big advantage like Joshua Hyatt has today, drivers on the tail end of the lead lap, traffic could be a factor in the outcome of that race. White flag displayed over the hood of the Krispy Kreme Chevy Silverado of Joshua Hyatt. He has been strong all day. He's just got to put together one more solid lap as he has over two seconds in hand. Back to Shane Lake in the 43. Through three and four. He will conquer the Monster Mile here today. Donuts for everyone. Joshua Hyatt will win the Autism Speaks 200 presented by Visa at Dover. His first top five of the season and it comes in the form of a victory here in the Tax Slayer Truck Series. Seventh in the point standings, or make that ninth in the point standings coming into this race, had a struggling race at Kansas two weeks ago, but bounces back here today with a victory and now becomes the ninth different winner of the season. And that means that with where he's running in the points, he just bumped some former winner of this season outside of the playoff grid. But what a great run there for Joshua Hyatt. Started this race, I think it was back like around the seventh, eighth position. Where did he start the race? Let's see where he qualified. He qualified, wow, back in 12th. So he did a good job fighting his way up through the field to get the lead as early as he did. Shane Lake will finish with his best finish of the season of second. Tristan Allen, his best finish in third. Jonathan Zorland will bring it home in fourth, so he'll get himself away from that cut line of 30th in the point stack. Rogers, good comeback finish for him after the hardship he had two weeks ago. He'll get uh, fifth place. Nick Johnson will finish the day out in sixth. Tyler Deaver in seventh. 
Julius Anderson will line up in 8th for the finish with Marcus Saachi and Joseph Swrigley completing your top 10. Rest of your top 20 was Carter Friesen, points leader Ace Garcia, Jordan Lopez, Michael Whitman, Jessica Miles, then Mason Wood, Paul Minnick, Caitlin Sang, Jake Moss, and Ryan Madden. Charles Jackson we saw start at the rear of the field. He was able to battle for at least a 22nd place finish following up his win a couple of weeks ago at Kansas. Second in the point stands Ryan Brommer. Struggling day for him as he got 27th. You look on down through the remainder of the finishing results and Tony Green, we talked about him needing a good run. He came in 30th in the point stands. He didn't get it here today. Finishes the day out in the 40th position. So this may have dropped him outside of the top 30 in the points coming into uh, next week's race at Richmond. But without further ado, that is going to do it for today's race. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give this video a like. Subscribe to the part of the crew today. Joshua Hyatt picks up his first career NSRA victory here today at Dover in the Tax Slayer Truck Series. We will now show you your uh, rookie points as well as your overall points heading into next week. We cap off this week with the Hershey's Cup Series tomorrow here at Dover. And then next week, all three series have their first half of the regular season finale at Richmond International Raceway before we get ready for All-Star Race Weekend. So, without further ado, I've been Seth Cole. We'll see you guys next time as you've been watching a production of the Racing Offline Racing at its best.